Inc. Magazine called our next speaker one of the world's most interesting men. Here he is riding down from the top of Europe's highest mountain, Mount Elbrus. flight or freeze. That's it. Those are the only actions the amygdala can take. It's a single level decision because when that amygdala senses danger, it doesn't care about anything else. It's a two million year old piece of software that runs our life and we have to stop that. When the amygdala gets in charge, it produces this fear cocktail. It's DHEA, it's adrenaline, it's cortisol, all coursing through your body. And this is what gives us superhuman powers. This is why a 130 pound woman can lift up a car to save the child that's trapped underneath it. This is why we have such mental acuity when we're scared, we remember every last detail. The reason you need to find more fear is to figure out when the amygdala is trying to get in charge. That's the first exploration I want you to do. If you can recognize changes in your body, they're always the same. Each person has a physiology that's built up always the same. When you get scared, you're gonna hear it like Brad said, the butterflies in his stomach, the, the tensing of someone's jaw, the rapid heartbeat, these are all going to be the same. So if you can find your fear tells, it's going to let you know when the amygdala is trying to take control. Because the amygdala doesn't care about your life. It doesn't care if you have a great relationship. It doesn't care if you're building the biggest franchise in history. It doesn't care if you want to go on vacation in Fiji. All it cares about is staying alive. What could you do if fear didn't get in your way? What would you try? Where would you go? What could you create? What could we all do if fear never stopped us? I asked you all who made a choice in their life beforehand. I want you to make a choice right now. It's tough. Let me tell you, when you're confronted with fear, it's so easy to go back on what your amygdala wants you to do. But I want you to commit right now to using fear as fuel. I want you to commit to using this base methodology when you feel those tells to change your life, to redesign your entire life. And I want you to do it mostly and firstly for those people who count on you and need you to do it. And then I want you to do it secondly because it'll open up a whole new amazing life for you. I'm Patrick Sweeney. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.